Thanks for watching, every TV dear viewers. Welcome to our news broadcast. Here are the headlines. Activity assessment meeting of nationals in Italy. International AIDS Day observed. UN appeals for record funding to cope with global crisis. Mass shootings in the U.S. 2022 could be the second highest year. In our domestic news, Milano branch of the National Union of Eritrean Women organized activity assessment meeting and implementation of the Charter Down Development Programs on 26 and 27 November. At the meeting in which Eritrean Ambassador to Italy, Mr. Fasad and Petros and Mr. Tahla Sambat Imam, Head of Public and Community Affairs took part, over 50 executive members of the union branches from the Italian cities of Milano, Brescia, Palermo, Bologna, Pisa, Pistoia, Rome, Napoli, Bari, Taromo, Pescara, and uh, Catania participated. The participants conducted extensive discussion on the reports presented by the heads of the union branches of the cities they represent. Ambassador Fizhats and Petros and Ms. Negustiz Agai, chairperson of the union branch in Italy, gave seminars to participants on the objective situation in the homeland and on economic management, respectively. The participants also expressed readiness to strengthen organizational capacity and participation in the national affairs. International AIDS Day, 1st December, rather, was observed today at national level at Arot Hospital Hall here in Asmara under the theme All Round Impartiality for Ending the HIV AIDS Pandemic, indicating that commendable intervention has been exerted to control the spread of the HIV AIDS pandemic at national and international level of community level. Mr. Amanil Gurmachan, Head of Information and Training Unit at the Ministry of Health, called for more integrated effort for better outcome. Sister Nugustita Swamikail, Head of HIV AIDS Control in the Ministry on her part, called on the public and concerned institutions to play due role in the effort to meet the global program to eradicate HIV AIDS, indicating that the Ministry of Health is working in cooperation with partners to control the prevalence of the disease in the country, Sister Nugusi said that sustainable training programs is being organized to health practitioners and antiretroviral drug are being distributed across the country. The event featured promotional and counseling messages by members of Bidho Association and general knowledge contests and discourses. Developmental popular campaigns in which over 700 people participated has been carried out in the six administrative areas in Shab Subzone and in the city of Dukamhare. According to the Ministry of Agriculture branch in Shab Subzone, the popular campaigns that went for on for three months included renovation of water diversion schemes and terraces, planting tree seedlings among others. Mr. Hassan Jimmy, head of the agricultural office in the subzone, said that the out of 7,600 tree seedlings planted throughout the popular campaigns, 4,000 are in good condition. The participants of the popular campaigns on their part called for machinery support in the renovation of water diversion schemes for their sustainability. In the same vein, residents of the Kamhara city carried out environmental sanitation activities at the Kamhara hospital on 20 November. That was our domestic news. Please stay tuned now for the international news right after the short break. The United Nations Annual Global Humanitarian Overview estimates that 339 million people worldwide will need some form of uh, emergency assistance next year. A staggering 65 million more people 
than the estimate a year ago. If all the people in need of emergency assistance were in one country, it would be the third largest nation in the world after China and India, the reports indicate. And the new estimate means that one in 23 people will need help in 2023, compared to one in 95 back in 2015, as the extreme events seem in 2022 spill into 2023, the UN described the humanitarian needs as shockingly high. The annual appeal by UN agencies and other humanitarian organizations said that providing aid to the 230 million most vulnerable people across 68 countries would require a record of 51.5 billion US dollars that was up from the 41 billion US dollars requested for 2022, although the sum has been revised up to around 50 billion US dollars during the year, with less than half of that sought for amount funded. This year a likely to be the second highest year for mass shootings in the United States on record, according to data compiled by the Gun Violence Archive, a nonprofit that tracks gun violence incidents across the country. The Gun Violence Archive defines a mass shooting as one in which at least four people are shot, including the shooter. There were a total of 690 mass shootings in 2021. The United States is likely to soon surpass the total of 610 mass shootings in 2022, with more than a month left of 2022 to go. In the past week alone, mass shootings have uh, claimed at least 24 lives and injured 37 others in gun rampages across seven states, according to the Gun Violence Archive. There have been more mass shootings uh, than days so far in uh, 2022, a trend that's continued each year since 2019, underscoring the growing prevalence of gun violence in American life. The pace of mass shootings in 2022 is part of a three-year uptrick that began in 2020. Between 1919 and 2020, the total number of mass shootings all year jumped from 417 to 610. The number jumped again in 2021 to 690. In 2022, so far, at least 3,179 people have been shot in mass shootings, resulting in 637 deaths and more than 2,500 people injured. Please issue now for a recap of tonight's headlines. Activity Assessment Meeting of Nationals in Italy. International AIDS Day observed nationwide. UN appeals for record funding to cope with global crisis. Mass shootings in the U.S. 2022 could be the second highest year. That was our for tonight, dear viewers. It is good night from us.